Good morning, folks. It feels a bit like the calm before the storm here. We experience quiet conditions while watching a towering wall of plasma enter visibility on the northeastern limb. Billions and billions of tons of charged particles suspended tens of thousands of miles above the solar surface. We see plasma filaments all over the disk, actually, yet none have significantly released in Earth's direction. As some turn away, more enter Earth-facing position, including some on the south like that mass just above the timestamp there. Filaments are today's primary eruption threat. This is partially because we don't expect much solar flaring. It has been on the decline, and so has sunspot activity. As this grouping faces Earth, it has lost nearly all of its flaring potential with no more delta class here, perhaps a small remnant trying to intrude into the lead umbra. Our only chance for a flare today will be from the sun-diving comet that got atomized on approach last night. Its energy is integrating into the solar magnetic field system today just as Mercury and Jupiter are set to oppose our star tonight. Back at Earth, the solar wind had been on a decline, but a slight variation towards increased pressure has occurred in the last 18 hours. Most importantly, it spun around the IMF, the solar wind phi angle changed significantly, and the BZ went from positive to negative, delivered a medium-sized whack to Earth's magnetic stability, but so far our shield appears to be holding up okay. We've been anticipating this. Finally, this morning, coronal hold down south begins facing Earth, but as soon as the news posted yesterday, it began losing power and form at the northern extension. I am now equally as focused on the next one coming in, already visible up north. So far in this uptick alert period, the earthquakes have taken a back seat to the volcanoes. No matter, those are just as easy to track. Remember we've seen some activity at Villa Rica, couple in Kamchatka, and here the Colima volcano in Mexico. A different but equally intriguing uptick in activity. So perhaps you heard about some scary asteroid that is coming by Earth today complete poppycock. It's multiple times further away than the moon at close approach and poses no danger. If you find yourself struggling to make your way through all the information available online, you might want to watch our video, I Wish I Knew This When I Woke Up. It's almost one year old and is a guide through much of this information. On the point of asteroids only, please note that zero recognized objects have ever created a fireball in our atmosphere, and no fireballs seen from the ground have ever been recognized on the NEO list. Just some food for thought. Speaking of food, how hilariously titled this article is. What it should say is GOP wants no GMO labels. The bill being discussed here absolutely offers more regulation in terms of GMO labeling, but it seeks to regulate the organic food makers and how they label, and would block all states from enacting labeling provisions on GMOs. It's being called the Dark Act in our circles, the Deny Americans the Right to Know Act. That was a good try, CBS. Arctic ice has gone back and forth like wild the last three years. You never get the news updates about 50% recovery periods. It's only when it dips down like for a few months like it did in early 2015. Of course, the southern ice is far more consistent, breaking high ice marks for the third year in a row. Pressure overlay on in the U.S. and Canada to show the elongated low in the east. Purple, straddled by high pressure nodes in white. When I pull up the precipitable water overlay, it shows how the convergence drawn towards the equator brings in the moisture to those lows along with the heat and energy for storm activity. Most of that is moving towards the coastline tonight while a cold blast comes in behind it. Just wait till you see how cold the eastern and central states get in early April. In Europe, we have a lot of circulation spread out across the area, so let me go ahead and bring up the pressure overlay so you can notice that the lows are pretty much right up and down the center longitudes of the continent. That is precisely where the storms will come tonight, purple weather alerts. If not thunder and lightning, it could be flash floods or even snow events. Down under, got cyclone remnants northwest, a solid low developed to the southeast, a couple convergence lines out in the west, and that storm between nations extends one out to New Zealand and then back up around near Queensland. That is precisely where you'll find your warnings this evening. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. 
Be safe, everyone.